Hi everybody! Well, you know how crazy it is, always is around here and today is no exception. Uh, Mom and I went shopping today and uh, oh boy, there was lots of orchids and she she loves her flowers. She's been in the, in the local paper with the pictures of her yard years ago. So she loves her flowers, but that she was definitely the instigator today. So we have two beautiful little orchids to repot tomorrow. And the other one, remember, I had these, uh, they used to be hanging hummingbird feeders, and they or something, just baskets. I picked them up and then I, I lined them with this uh, core mat and I even sewed in blanket stitch from when I was a kid all around. I made the little cup to hold it. So this has just been drop potted in here and I'll be repotting it tomorrow. The bark is soaking. So I also, so it will sit like that in this pot and that's another experiment it's beautiful and it gives me space now i have a little one and i have this little one and i haven't figured out how to get it to hang so that it's uh i want to make sure that it's hanging there's the little pot i should show you one <laughs> so it was just the it was just the flat matting and uh, I sewed a little seam, cut it, and put a piece across the top. And this is actually waxed um, thread I picked up somewhere. So I'll see if I can get the little one to hang properly. And uh, then you remember the video that, that uh, I was doing my first painting. Well, when you left, I said I had this all painted light blue and uh, I was going to use all the leftover paint from the pitcher for this sewer pipe. It's like the Monet pot, but a little bit slimmer on the two outside arms. So uh, after I had it all blue, I picked up all the cups and I grabbed every little drip that was in each cup and I dumped it down the sides. You know, this pipe wasn't sanded or anything, and uh, it stuck. You know how crazy it was. So look. So we now have our next sewer pot. All ready for an orchid. It'll get a lining in the bottom, and uh, probably just a screen made of... Uh, a metal screen just to stop the bark from falling through and uh, Jack drilled all the half inch holes and I think these are like five dollars at a hardware store if you had to buy them but we got them at the thrift store and then you could uh, put a bigger one in the top and two minis in the side and I think it would be beautiful so if I can't get this one to hang properly I may put the big one in and then it'll have to wait for two minis. And uh, <laughs> so that's been going on and you saw the mess I was left with the other day. And uh, now, the picture, it turned out pretty good. Now if you decide to do, this was a tile and uh, it was one that uh, Jack had grinded because I wanted it roughed up. And when I, I never haven't done this before, I just, uh, I noticed a lot of the little grindy lines from the steel on the grinder were left in this. So you wouldn't have any trouble having this stick to a completely shiny tile, which I'm going to try in the future. Boy, when I finished that, I thought, this isn't my kind of painting. I like to like sit down and relax and you know, paint, and have some music on. This was um, messy, and I had rubber gloves on, and I think next time I'll just get those uh, throwaway ones, those real thin, because that was better, but, 
what an episode but you know I'm so happy and I'm going to show you a close-up because we see all kinds of things in this picture so I'm coming up to give you a close-up I hope get, you know we can see dragons and angels and uh, all kinds of things so we'll see I got it I had a funny red light beeping at me. I'm not sure why. Anyway, um, it turned out good. I'm going to let it dry real good. And then I might put a little tiny fairy down here. Just something really tiny. So uh, that's on the agenda. So it's never dull. And it even goes further than that. Um, <laughs> as you know, Jack put the LED lights around here, which has made a great difference to us and to the plants. But he ordered uh, some more of the stripping online, I think a warm one, and he said, when I do the other window, you're going to want me to do this at the same light, but I don't know why. But So we got that to look forward to, and there's all kinds of things happening. I'll probably be on tomorrow or the next day. Um, my bark is soaking, and we'll probably have some new things to share. Oh, Pat, we do have some new things to share with you. So, uh, yeah, two little uh, exciting thoughts. So, we'll see you soon, and have some fun out there.